Seema Kolekar is making bakri bread for her family. They live in a village in western India, and every day she cooks all their meals on a traditional cook stove. It is nothing more than sculpted clay around a fire that is fueled by wood. Nearly three billion people around the world still depend on three stone fires and traditional cook stoves like this, unable to afford or access cleaner forms of energy. The burden of collecting and preparing the fuel, whether it's wood, agricultural waste, or dung, often falls on the women and girls within a family. And it is women and their children whose health suffers the most once these smoky, inefficient stoves are lit. Recent research shows that nearly 4 million people die each year from household air pollution caused by combustion. That means that stove smoke is killing more people than malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV-AIDS combined. Research also shows that the smoke doesn't stay inside the house, drifting out to be a major contributor to both outdoor air pollution and climate change. To address these problems, companies and NGOs are designing stoves that use less wood and produce less smoke. A couple of years ago, Milan Kolekari had one of these improved cook stoves installed in her house, but she's not using it. Milan told me that the stove broke after a couple of months, and though there was less smoke, she felt like it used more wood, so she returned to her traditional cook stove. Even those who can afford cleaner fuel such as gas can't always get it due to government rationing and distribution problems. This leads to a juggling act known as stove stacking. Emily Teresa in the southern state of Tamil Nadu alternates between a gas stove, a kerosene stove, and outside she uses a three-stone fire to heat bath water. She also has a portable improved cook stove, which she bought through her women's self-help group, but it's usually the last stove she turns to. Given this reluctance to adopt improved cook stoves, some researchers say we should help households leap directly to proven clean technologies such as gas and electric. While propane gas distribution remains challenging, there are promising alternative efforts underway. For example, local biogas digesters can transform plants or manure into gas or even electricity. And decentralized solar or wind power systems can fuel clean, efficient, and affordable induction cookers. But these projects remain small scale. So for now, stove designers will keep working on improved cook stoves, and Seema and her neighbors will keep stoking the smoky fires that feed their families. For Nature, this is Mira Subramanian.